What's up YouTube? So today I have a video related to code again. I'm interviewing my friend named Taylor. He has a computer science degree and I'm asking him all the questions like, would you go back to school? What do you use from computer science? Do you think it was worth it? All those questions that you might want to know if you're considering going to college for computer science or you want to go to a boot camp or self-taught or some other route. So if you jump on in with me, let's get to the interview. All right, so this is my coworker and friend Taylor. He has a computer science degree and he's gonna tell you guys what he thinks about self-taught people and boot camp people and the benefits and downsides of going to college and not going to college and all that. So Taylor, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name is Taylor Moss. I went to school at the University of Bozeman. It's a pretty highly regarded engineering school, um, and they have a pretty good computer science program, and I went to that. Um, i trying to remember timeline. Graduate high school in 2010, went to Bozeman for four years, and then after school I went to Missoula, which is a kind of tech town here in Montana. Um, I worked there at a few startups, and basically ever since then I've just been working in web development, doing all kinds of stuff from mobile to, I don't know, <laughs> web and mobile is really all I do. <laughs> so, so how different is your computer science degree from what you do at work? So in computer science, they, they teach you a little bit of programming, but not nearly as much as you actually use in the day-to-day. -day. Like, all I do now is program, right? Like, nine to five, I type code, bug test, debug, all that kind of stuff. But um, in university, they actually don't teach you that much. You take a Java series where you take Java one, two, three, and four, and that's split out over however many semesters, depending on what order you want to do it. And then you'll take a few other auxiliary classes, like we took one in C, and we took one called Programming Languages, where you basically, every project was a different language, like one was in Perl, then one was in Pascal, or Haskell, and then one was in, you know, like, like they would switch up the language all the time per project. And so, the, besides that though, like when you actually condense that down, it's really like 10 classes maybe in programming, and the rest are in these, bigger, broader data structures and analytical skills. And so I actually went through most of college not using, like like when I left school, I really didn't use a lot of what I learned in computer science. So what is the actual benefits of getting a computer science degree? So the, the main point I think of a computer science degree is more for when you need to deal with complex problems. Like, so for example, in school they talk about like time complexity of code, right? Like where you analyze whether option A, B, or C will be longer when you scale things up to millions and billions and trillions of requests rather than like three or four that you're working with in your program, right? So like you, you deal with solutions and you t try and figure out proofs for things mathematically. Basically you try and figure out ways that things will work on a grandiose scale and in the same kind of vein you don't necessarily think of the minutia of like how do I get this for loop to work or how do I assign these variables like I don't know syntax or whatever like you talk about like algorithms and you try and figure out like design patterns like oh we should structure this entire application or this entire project around this type of data structure so it's it's a lot higher level and you actually don't deal with a lot of the low level stuff so really people who go to school for computer science generally will program for a little bit, but really what they want to transition into is management roles, CTOs, positions where you kind of deal with the hierarchy of stuff and deal with how things should work, but you actually are not doing a lot of the low-level programming, if that makes sense. Yeah, it, so, so what about this question? The question that probably everyone watching wants to know is that can a self-taught person or a boot camp grad compete with a computer science degree in the, in the workforce, in the field? Yeah, so, so kind of going on what I was talking about before, I really think it depends on the category in which you're working. I think in programming, like if you're like a developer, right, whether that's web or mobile or even integrated systems, like I think a self-taught programmer or someone who went to code boot camp will do just as good, if not better, than a lot of computer science people at that job because that's what they do. Like you go to code bootcamp or you get self-taught and you learn programming. That's what you do. 
And like I said before, you only learn, you only take like 10 classes of actual programming in computer science. Where I think the computer science people excel is things like, 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 like I said before, like the position of CTO or the position of like a data analyst or a, a higher up, like a manager or something like that. Because you really don't use a lot of your degree in actual programming. So I think that self-taught people and boot camp people actually have a leg up a lot of the times because they're kind of in and out, you know, in programming day in and day out, figuring it out. Yeah, I mean, because like you and me and Katie, we're all like, we're your your computer science guy, I'm boot camp grad guy, and she's self-taught girl, lady, right? So, but how, how hard was it to find a degree with a computer science degree if you didn't actually do that much coding? Did you... Did you get the jobs you wanted because of like your portfolio that you had and not because of the degree mainly? Yeah, so so this is something that I actually tell most people who talk to me about this is if you want a job, you need to do things auxiliary to the degree or you, you won't get a good job. So like I went to school with a bunch of people obviously and I ha I have a friend who has a master's degree in computer science. But the whole time he went to school, he didn't do any projects. Like he, he just he just did his school and like he has really good grades and he's he's really smart. But he still can't find a job, you know, however long later. Like it's been three, four, almost four years now, and he still can't get a job. Like obviously two of those years he was getting his master, but now he's in limbo because it's hard to hire people who their only recommendation is the degree. Do you know what I mean? In school, I even as early on as freshman year, I was working on side projects. And when I graduated, it was like, hey, I went to school, sure. But really, look at this project. Look at these jobs I worked while I was in school. Like I, I worked a IT and system admin job the whole time I was in school, in addition to working a web development thing on the side, in addition to having like, tons of projects so my resume looked like a proper like stacked resume and a lot of my friends didn't have that a lot of my friends just did their schooling and they had better grades than me sure because that's what they focused on but I, I think I saw early on that it was going to be hard to get a job without doing those extra steps so I focused a lot more on that okay so you've told me before that you were in kind of like this management position at this previous job and you were in charge of hiring people. And what did you think when you got resumes in with people with degrees or people that didn't have anything except a good GitHub portfolio, or let's say like a, a bootcamp graduate? Like what did what, what went through your mind when you saw this? Yeah, so so it's interesting because you you would think looking at a resume, you'd be like, oh, this guy has a degree. He obviously knows what he's talking about. But like if you're sitting there with like ten resumes in front of you and you're reading through them, like, first of all, it's a lot to process. Like, I, I kind of have to give it to hiring managers who do a good job because just reading a piece of paper is a really hard way to understand if someone's going to be a good fit. And especially after you've read, like, four, five, or six, the, the basic stuff starts to kind of, like, float away. Like, you start to see, like, education, blah, 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 education, blah, blah, blah. And, like, some people have associate's degrees, some people have master's and bachelor's, and some people have master's or bachelor's in different fields. And so you're, like, going through all these resumes. And I feel like education is almost like in bio and information. Like, you think about it and you kind of subconsciously think about it. But really what your eyes immediately go to is work history followed by, like, projects and examples that you can tangibly touch. So I didn't really give it that much weight. Obviously, I I tried, but that was more just because I was like, oh, this person has a degree. I should probably at least give them an interview or whatever. But the guy I ended up hiring and everyone I ended up hiring didn't have a degree, and they were people who were just good at their job, and that's why I hired them. So if you could, would you go back to college and do it all over again? I personally wouldn't, but only because... I really like programming and I didn't know that I would like programming. So a lot of what they say in school is like, go to school and figure out what you want to do with your life. And I knew I wanted to do something with computers. And so I went to school for computer science and I found out that I really like programming. And that's, that's what I do now and that's what I really like and I think I'm really good at it. Whereas I have a lot of friends who, like I have a friend who, go, who went off to Google, right? But he doesn't do any programming. Right. Like he's using his computer science degree more for what it was designed for. And, you know, he's doing great and he's doing his own thing, but he doesn't ever really touch programming. 
And that's fine, but that's just not really what I personally want to do. So I think if you're someone who already knows that you like programming and you programming and you like to create, I think that going to a computer science like going through the whole process of a computer science degree is not really worth it. I would personally go to a boot camp, maybe like a full year year long one to be like that top echelon of people. But, you know, if you're just self-taught, I don't think that's any disadvantage. And I think even the shorter boot camps are great. So I don't think I would go again. I would probably go to a boot camp. But if you want to do different things, like if you want to be the CTO of a tech company or you want to be, a, you know, like a project manager or a data analyst or something that requires a lot more higher level thought, then absolutely go to school. There's not a boot camp or self-taught like you can't be self-taught in a lot of those things. That's like the only place that you can get that knowledge. So if that's what you want to do, you kind of have to, but I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't. <laughs> and another thing about university is that it costs a lot more than a boot camp or being self-taught, obviously. And so for someone like me, it's just not worth it. Like if you, and especially if you're also willing to move, I work in Montana and I work remote. So programming is like the thing I can do. But if you go to school and you get a bunch of debt, Really, the best way to pay that off is to move to somewhere like Silicon Valley or up in Seattle or New York or one of these places where they pay developers or project managers a bunch of money. And so especially if you're like being fiscally responsible about the situation, if you want to be a programmer, I would definitely not go to school because it's a lot of debt for something that I think you can do just as well self-taught or at a code boot camp. What about like job security future-wise versus like a boot camp someone versus someone who has a degree on the resume, it doesn't it just becomes more about like the what you have in your portfolio versus just uh... yeah. I mean, I I truly think it does. Like when I think of the all the programmers that I know, the best ones are self-taught programmers, and there, there's kind of these two categories where where you're either learning to be a self-taught programmer or you have already done that, but. I think the best programmers are self-taught programmers, and I don't really know why. I think it just must be the ones that I associate with at my level where I'm at in my career just happen to be self-taught, and they're really smart. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, as far as, like, job security goes, I think as, as you age and as you progress in your career, it becomes less and less about the degree and more and more about job experience. Like, every job will say college degree or equivalent experience but when you start to look at these really high tier jobs like when once you're 10 years into your career they're a lot more like hey we need someone with 10 to 15 years of this experience for this project for this language for this framework etc right and so i think every year that you go it becomes less and less of a prop it becomes less and less of a priority every year as you go along to have a degree. I think it helps a tiny bit at the beginning, but then I would say after three years, it's essentially worthless and it's all about the work history at that point. I'll, I'll just keep an eye on the, on the comments on this video. So if you have questions, just hit me up in the comments down below. That works. Like I went to school and I learned all this shit, but in the end, I would have not done it. I would just go to Code Boot Camp because it's way better. I'm just gonna edit that part for the entire video. <laughs> <laughs> like, just have that intro and yeah. then, then go into the whole thing. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Do you, is there anything that you as a code bootcamp person think, oh, if I had gone to school, I'd know that? Like, or, do you have any, like, questions about, like, comp sci that you, like, don't know and, it, like, elude you because you've been, you went to code bootcamp and you think that I would know? So, they only teach you, like... They teach you the hands-on, everything you need to know, but sometimes you're wondering, like, okay, well, why do you do this? Why does it? Why does the code work the way that it does? And, ver like, you probably know closer to how things work at, like, the machine level, like the machine binary ones and zeros level, yep. and how that all adds up to make the different language and, like, how it compiles in the terminal versus, like, JavaScript compiles in the browser and stuff like that. And, like, I wonder why it, it does it that way. Things like that. Right. Like, maybe, like, d data structures, algorithms, structuring. I, I just kind of, like, you know, it's kind of like the machinists, right? Really good machinists know how to make good stuff really well and precise. But, like, it's kind of like a machinist versus a, an engineer. Right. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? That's kind of what like boot camp grad versus computer science is to me. It's inter- yeah, it's really interesting that you say that because like that <laughs> that's the stuff that like I didn't care about in school. Like I, I I took compilers as a keystone like a capstone at school where we actually made our own compiler. And like in before that we took assembly where you actually do convert low level assembly and that like is literally output into ones and zeros for the computer and you have to actually like write programs in that style and then we learned a lot of stuff about like why things are run the way they are run but all those classes I did terrible and I didn't give a shit at all the whole time but like the programming classes I was always super hyped and I, I loved it but yeah they, yeah they definitely will teach you that but it's I would all I would say is that it's not all it's not all that it's cracked up to be like it's not like even if you know all of the information it doesn't make you a better programmer and it doesn't like like it might in like one percent of situations but 99 percent of the time you don't need to know that and that's why they don't teach you at code boot camp yep but there's just been a few times where i've been like well how, why does it work this way i mean i guess i'll just do it because this is what it says to do on mdn so okay all right that that's the law but like why it's super interesting that you say that, because that's, that's like the one thing I never care about. Okay, well, my camera just died, so. So that's what he had to say, and, you know, it was a little bit surprising to me, but, you know, take it with a grain of salt. There's other people out there with computer science degrees that might have differing opinions or something else to say, or maybe I missed a question that you want to know. If I did, make sure to leave that in the comment section below. He'll be looking at the comments and I'll be looking at the comments. If you want to see more videos like this related to code answering questions, if you're on the fence about making a decision versus like college or boot camp, self-taught, something like that, make sure to hit that little bell. If you want to see more content like this relating to code, career talk, tutorials, I do a lot of different things on this channel and you should uh, stay tuned because I have a lot of surprises and new content coming up here pretty soon. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.